Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we'll start from problem 18 of the check section from the chapter of kinematics. So let's directly begin with the problem statement. So in the problem, it's given that two boys enter a running escalator at the ground floor of a shopping mall. The first boy, the first boy repeatedly follows a cycle of P1 step up and then Q1 steps down. Whereas the second boy repeatedly follows a cycle of P2 steps up and Q2 steps down. Both of them move relative to the escalator with a speed of 50 centimeter per second. So the relative speed, basically what it is, is the speed with which they are climbing the stairs. You, you can imagine the escalator like a stair and this would be the speed with which they are running over the stairs. Okay. So now the boys take T1 seconds and T2 seconds respectively to reach the first floor in complete number of cycles. How fast is the is the escalator running. So basically what they mean by reach the first floor in complete number of cycles is like, uh, again, this is what they defined as a cycle. So just to give a rough idea, let's say these are the steps of the escalator. And let's say the boy is standing over here. So he climbs up by one stair, again climbs up by one stair, and then he climbs down by second stair. Okay, and now he's finally over here. This is defined as a cycle. So they're saying when they reach the first floor, there is a, they do it in a finite number of cycles. Let's say they do it for 10 cycles. Okay, so basically that is an integer number is what they're trying to say. So like they will reach the top after completing 10 cycles or 12 cycles or something like that. It's not like 10.5 cycles where they completed 10 cycles and they are in the middle of a cycle. They complete an integer number of cycles before reaching the first floor. That's what they mean by this line. And so basically we have to find how fast is the escalator running. Okay, let's understand each, uh, each part step by step and let's try to solve the problem. Okay guys, so let's say these are the steps of the escalator and uh, we have two boys here. Boy number one, pa boy number one follows a certain pattern when it comes to climbing the stairs. So he climbs up by one stair and then he climbs down two stairs. So imagine this is the boy, okay? He jumps up another stair and then he comes down and then he again comes down. So finally, after the cycle is complete, he goes from this point till this point. So his displacement is, um, minus h where we can say h is a h is the step height name the cycle something so let's say it is u d d which stands for up down down okay so let's so we'll say the boy one is performing u d d cycles now similar the boy two so now let's talk about the boy two so boy two he climbs up two stairs okay and then he climbs down one stair so this guy is performing u u d cycle so basically if this is the boy he climbs up by two stairs so finally he's over here and then he climbs down by one stair so finally he's over here so after one cycle is complete boy this boy's displacement is plus h now, right now, I'm purely talking about the displacements relative to the escalator. The escalator floor itself is moving up with some speed, right? But we are, we are trying to understand the cycles first. Okay, guys, so if you observe the first boy, he is, after every cycle, climbing down one stair, right? So he's, uh, he's trying to run away from the first floor, which means he will take more time to reach the first floor. Whereas the boy too, he is climbing the stairs after every cycle, which means he'll reach the first floor faster. And, and that as we, we can also see from here that the first boy takes 250 seconds and the second boy takes only 50 seconds to reach the first floor. So T1, which is the time taken by boy one is 250 seconds and T2 is 50 seconds. Now there is also another information given to us and that is the relative speed, okay? Relative speed with which the boys are climbing the stairs and this is 50 centimeters per second. Now now guys, as we have the time and as we also have the speed with which the boys are running, running on the es escalator, so we can find out the distance covered by the boys on the stairs, right? Let's say the distance covered by the first boy is D1. So, okay, so now what is this distance I'm talking about? Let's say this is uh, boy number one. So now imagine that the escalator is at rest, guys, because we are talking about the relative distances, right? So let's say this is boy number one. His cycle looks like he went up by one and then he came down by two and then he came down by two steps. So in the process of going up, he covered a distance of plus H in the, and again, in the process of coming down and he covers a distance of plus H and again, he went down. So he covered another distance of H. So in each cycle, he's covering a distance of H plus H plus H, which is three H. Even though his displacement is minus H, the distance covered by the boy is three H, right? Again, a plus H for going up, a minus H for coming down, another minus H for coming down. So yeah, finally, after the cycle is complete, and now let's say guys, the first boy, he does N1 number of these cycles. It's given that it's some integer, right? So let's say he completed N1 number of these cycles. So what is the total distance covered by the boy? We can say it is the total number of cycles, which is N1 times the distance covered in each cycle, which is actually 3H. And once again, H will be the step height, right? This is the total distance covered by the boy D1. Now, this is also equal to the relative speed with which the boy is running 
which is 50 centimeters per second uh, multiplied by the total time which is 250 seconds so this in terms of meters is going to be 125 meters okay so this is the distance covered by the first boy now the distance covered by the second boy using exactly the same argument now he is going to perform some other number of cycles right so let's say he performs n2 number of cycles okay and what is the distance covered per cycle for the boy 2 his distance will also be 3h right because uh, why because uh, the, let's say this is boy number 2 he climbs up by one step again he climbs up by one step and then he climbs down by one step so he is covering plus h plus h another plus h right because distance is added it's not subtracted so he's covered he's covering a total distance of 3h as well so the distance covered by void 2 will be n2 multiplied by 3h and this is also equal to the speed into time which is which will just be one fifth of this right so this is 25 meters so from here if you divide these two equations you will see that n1 by n2 is 5 which means the first boy who is running away from the first floor needs to do five such cycles before reaching the top and that is kind of expected right because the second boy will reach the first four faster so he has to do less of those cycles okay so now let's go back to the ground frame guys so in the ground frame what will happen is the elevator is also uh, going up elevator is also making the boy climb some distance right let's say the speed of the elevator is not elevator escalator so the escalator let's say its speed is v and uh, we know that so first let's talk about the boy one so we know boy one will reach the top in 250 seconds so in 250 seconds the distance covered by the escalator will be v multiplied by 250 speed into time right now so basically with the elevator floor going up the boy himself is going down relative to the escalator and in each cycle his displacement once again is minus h right his displacement is minus h because he's he's going downstairs so basically in one cycle the boy's displacement is minus h but how many cycles does this boy complete before reaching the top he completes n1 cycles right so this is the total displacement you could say of the boy with respect to the ground frame okay so let's say the distance from ground floor to first floor is capital h finally when boy one reaches the top this total displacement this displacement should be equal to capital h which is the distance from the ground floor to the top floor right so this would be our first equation now for the second boy the height climbed by the second boy due to the escalator going up is v into 50 he reaches the first floor in 50 seconds but if you observe the displacement of the boy, let's say this is boy number one. After one cycle, he will climb up by H, right? He will be over here. So which means his displacement in each cycle is plus H and he covers N2 such cycles, right? So, so his displacement will be plus H in each cycle multiplied by the total number of cycles. Okay. And these two terms combined should equal to capital H because his final displacement from the ground is capital H. So this will be our equation number two. So now again, we are not interested in capital H. What we are interested in is V. So we'll subtract these two equations. So we'll get V multiplied by 200 equals H multiplied by N1 plus N2. Now, how do we get N1 plus N2? If you observe here, we can add these two equations, right? We can say H times N1 plus N2. So we'll divide by three on both sides. So it'll be 150 by three on the right side. So that is 50 meters. So we got the value of H times N1 plus N2. It is 50 meters. So V turns out to be one by four meters per second which is equal to 25 centimeters per second which would be the answer to this question okay so yeah that was the whole concept in this question so so we have to analyze the distance and displacement separately okay guys so that's it for this video uh, if you enjoy the video please do like share and subscribe and yeah that's about it thanks for watching